That uh, thunder and lightning, you might have heard that thunder last night. Chris, mm -hmm. you're going to tell us why. It seemed perhaps a bit louder. Louder and it was louder. loud. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I woke up and I was like, you know what? It looks like I'm just awake now. And here's the cause of it. So what happens is whenever there's a warm layer above our heads, it acts as a cap. And this is what can also prevent storms. It's called a warm air inversion. And this temperature inversion is going to actually reflect the sound back. Because on a typical scenario, that sound happens and it echoes into the upper atmosphere. We still hear it. But in this case, it literally is bouncing back and forth turn the ground level and this warm inversion that allows it to really resonate much longer so that's why you hear that going on for what almost seems like a minute because the sound waves are doing this going up and down up and down but also picture if you have a loud noise in open fields you're not going to hear it as much as if say you're closed in a room this also kind of put things in a vacuum that's why things hear and sound much, much louder under this scenario. And I think that we have a very similar case and scenario for later on tonight. And these typically happen most commonly at night. And the reason why all that heat from the ground starts to rise up. So that means above our heads is actually warmer than the cooler ground. And that's why all this goes down. Also, I want to bring up one other thing about lightning in general. Most commonly, the way that lightning actually forms is a connection of positive to negative ions. But in a rare case, you can have the top of the storm that's going to connect. Those are called positive lightning strikes, and it's the positive lightning strike that's 10 times stronger, lasts 10 times longer, and is also 10 times louder. So that one single bolt that hits the ground, that's the <laughs> that rattles the house and has that bright, bright light, that's a positive lightning strike. And only 10% of all lightning strikes are positive, and actually they're the most deadly as well because they're just 10 times as powerful. So now you know, raising your lightning IQ with this.